Hello and welcome back to more 9999 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Well, last episode, we solved some puzzles in the steam engine room. Today, we'll be solving puzzles in the warehouse from Raiders of the Lost Ark, apparently. No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. All right, we're just jumping straight into this. Again, okay, here we are, back in a new room. This time we're in, I think he said the cargo room. Seek a way out. Well, we've gotten pretty good at that at this point. Balls haven't been too particularly challenging, uh, but that, that's fine, they've still been pretty fun. All right, cargo room. There's numbers over here, and there's what look like a bunch of mice scattered around the place. What are these things? Oh, are they sandbags? There's a bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in them. Card with a headshot. Okay. And there's a thing on the bottom. I'm guessing these these cards definitely have to be inserted somewhere. Okay. So it, oh, what's that? It's a card. It has a headshot on it. A headshot? Yeah. I'm not really sure what the purpose this could possibly serve. I'm guessing we're gonna have to put the cards in certain places. But is there a card in each of these sandbags? Then I'm guessing there is. Yep. There's, oh, oh, look. It, it, it's crazy, dude. Wait, let, let's look at it. it. It's crazy, dude. From the beginning of the game. I'm guessing each of these sandbags is gonna have a picture of someone in it. Yep. All right. So let's just let's just check all the sandbags. Yep, here we go. Okay, just a little few more. You, and just, just keep just keep racking up. Okay, I think that's all of them for now. That should be all of the the uh, the sandbags that are in the area. Unless I missed one, I don't think I missed one. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Okay, so what else? There's also these things over here. I did not want to... Okay, I, did, I didn't want to... I, I, did, I didn't want to move past here. Uh, yep, okay, I, I, I guarantee you... Yep, that's exactly what we have to do. So, the... You'll notice that there's there's a little thing in the bottom of the, at the bottom of the, the chips, or the cards, and, and looks like there's also a thing to match that down here. I'm guessing we have to put them in in certain, per, certain cards in certain holes. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, there's barrels over here. Is a tiny box. What's in the box? Another card. Okay, that's great. All right, so let's well let's see. I'm guessing we have to put these in. Let's see if we can start messing around with these things. It's locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they? Oh. Ace bent down and picked up something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. More cards? Okay. Card with another headshot. Great. Okay, are there any more are, are there any more cards we can find? We searched all the boxes, there's nothing in them. Okay, so then there's so so is, is that all the cards then? I'm guessing that's all the cards. So I mean I mean so it's it's not it's not it's not all the people that we have. This is, we only have seven cards right now out of the nine total that I'm guessing we could so is this gonna say a box nothing inside yeah so we, we've checked all the boxes that we can I guess or you've lied to me and there's <laughs> ace we checked all the boxes me oh, okay well what about this box at the back of the room that you very obviously didn't check okay now we have all the cards now we have all the cards and of course it was it was yeah, where where are you it, it was these two that had their cards next to each other because of course okay now now we can start solving puzzles okay so how do we do this? How exactly do we go about doing this? Uh, I have no idea. Mm, first off, can we even put the cards in here? Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers, then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two. Okay, so, so I, 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 I I thought it would be much more complicated than that because I thought there were only three holes that are like at the bottom of the, the box. And so I thought, my thought process was, okay, maybe we have to figure out what the digital root of the numbers added up together would be. And then based on that, we put certain cards in the holes. But apparently each box has a hole, so I, I, I way overthought that. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? Hey! June, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, alright? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you! You're not that far you away. Right? What happened? She's, she's like right over there. She's like two feet away. Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. <sighs> just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. But Junpei, there's a hospital on the ship. Don't you know? It's the room that we were all in before you keep calling it the hospital, except it's not. Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil? Soparil? I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different routes. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, what the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, alright? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. He's having trouble putting the cards in the numbers that correspond to the cards that belong to certain... Okay. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing, I... My... What can't you see well? Oh, I, 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 I accidentally skipped that. I, I, my vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, perhaps because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What, what can't you see well? These pictures. Ace held the cards out of Jinpei, splayed out in the shape of a fan. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Okay, maybe turn down the echo a bit on this one. The, the echo effect was cool and needed and worthy of praise in the steam engine room. It, you've gone a little bit overboard this time. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's, or so they can't remember faces. Okay. Which is how most people recognize each other. Really gotta tune down the echo there. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe... Maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. He looks depressed enough to... What? That, that's a sentence. Uh... Okay, then. Oh, well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one. I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. He didn't- wait, he didn't even get a single card into the boxes? Not even his own? Yeah! Ugh, oh, they opened! What the? Nine... pins? I guess I'll take them with me. Nine pins, okay. What can we do with these? Can we open this door? This door leads to the- oh, that's where we came from, okay. Uh, can we go up the stairs? That's yes. What's up with- these stairs, they go up three stories. What are you waiting for, Junpei? Whatever, I'm going. Okay, well, what's up with the topic? Can we go through this door? This is the only door here, except for the one we just came in through. Then this is the exit. Okay, 
course it's locked. Is it an electronic lock? No, it's just a keyhole right under the doorknob. So to open this door, we gotta find the key that fits the keyhole. Yeah. All right, let's go up to the. Let's go one more level and see what's up here. Oh, this is a weird angle. Okay. Uh, there's a machine here. Can we turn it on? The monitor's off. I got a green switch here and a red one and some kind of lever. None of them seem to do anything though. Maybe the power's off? Yeah, maybe. There's a single green light at the bottom though. That means. Oh, I didn't want to. Can we check down here? Uh, this looks like it's covering something. It looks like some kind of little shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. What's gonna come out if it does open? Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, like I'd know that. Okay. Uh, what do we? So I'm guessing we probably have to put pins in here, right? There are six holes here, and it looks like the pins I just found would be a perfect fit for them. Yep, okay. You know, the ones you found in the nine boxes, right? Well, why don't you try it? All right, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go here on the top part, and three, five, and seven on the bottom part. Why? 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 What What reasoning have you used to determine that? Well, some of them lit up. Yeah, three and six. One of them is some kind of... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, let me check let me check the math on that real quick. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so it's... So the numbers that you put in on the bottom will turn on the will turn on the digital root of the one of, of the of the numbers you put in. Yep. You think you think it's a digital root? Yep. Yeah, wow. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. I, I, I love this. Okay. The lights the match. Yep. Well, I know. I I figured that out. Thanks. What what do we want to check? Well, if he wants to try, he's certainly welcome to. So you put the one, two, three pins on the top and the six, seven, eight pins on the bottom. Oh. They turned off. 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21. The digital root of 21 is 3. Therefore, light 3 turns off. So what? That's easy. This, this is this is, this is is insanely easy. So, so yes. Yeah, so, so what if it turns off? That doesn't matter. Because all we ha assuming we have to fill both... Assuming we have to fill up both the top and bottom row, all we have to do is just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 at a time. Like, do, do 1 and 2, then 3 and 4, then 5, 6, and 7 and 8. And then that'll turn them all on, and it won't turn any of them off. This, this, is, this is insanely easy. All, all, you ha all we have to do is just figure out a combination of numbers that adds up to both... To, all we have to do, that, that, that's the hard part, is going to be figuring out the combination of numbers that actually adds up to, to all the digital roots. That's going to be tough. We, we, we can still do it, though. We can figure it out. Okay, so... Okay, uh... Yeah, yeah, we, we know how this works. We already know how it works. We already figured it out. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Let me, let me just do the thing now. Where do we... Where do we even begin? <sighs> Alright, so... What, what, I this, conceptually, this is easy in that you have to just just fill up, fill them up one at a time until you get each set of two. But in in execution, finding those sets of two numbers that are actually gonna work, this might be okay. This might be this might be a pain. I I, I don't even know how to begin working this out. So you know what I'm gonna do? Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be insanely boring, so I'm not gonna show it. Is, is there a pen and paper? I know I know they give us a calculator, but did they give us a pen and paper? No, they did not. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a piece I'm gonna get a piece of paper and a pencil, and I'm gonna actually t write out all the possible groups of numbers that can add up to the numbers that we want, uh, and then based on that, we'll figure out which combination we need. Okay, this is gonna be really boring. Well, it's not boring, but you're you're not gonna get to see my thought process. But it's not really a thought process. It's just me. It, it's me writing out all the number combinations, and then after that, I'll use the list to figure out what we have to do. So I'll see you guys in a second. So we can do five, and then four, and then one. This will this this gets us one, and then for two we can try uh, we can try eight, and then no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. We can't. I was gonna try eight to one, but that doesn't work. Okay, so what what else we have? We have uh, I guess I can try seven. No, because I still need one for that too. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um. What else can we try? Uh, well, let's just see what else. Let, let's just. I, I guess. I, I guess I don't need to do them in order because I can also do. I'm, I'm, let's go for six. If I do nine and then eight and then seven, that gets us one and that gets us six. Okay, that's good. That's that's one. That's two of them down. We just gotta do this over and over again. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be such a pain. I, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's do two and four. I can probably do eight and then two and then one, and then for four, what what would add up to four? Uh, ten, three. Is there? Okay, so uh, then. Do oh I have to do this for six and then uh, three four there that's that's two and four now we need three and seven and five and eight we're almost there if we, if we want three we can do nine we can do one we can do two and then if I want seven I can do uh, that doesn't work we need okay forget that plan I guess I, I can keep nine there I guess I need I, okay so we need we need to find something that gets a seven out of these numbers so what do we 
Uh, so actually, we'll wait. Uh, seven. Ooh, that gets us. Okay, the, the this might. Okay, hold, let's hold on. Can we actually please? Actually, okay, let's let's do seven and then four. And then we do five, and then okay, there we go. That now we just need five and eight. Oh, we're all we're just one more, one more set, and we're good. So we need to find a combination of numbers that gets us, that gets to turns on five and eight without turning off the other ones. We, we've we've come this far. We can't turn back now. So seven and four and three turn on five, and then we can do. No, that doesn't work. I was, I was gonna try six and then seven and four. That doesn't work because we need these. Okay, is there another? <sighs> what what out of? We need, we need, okay, so let's, let's, let's scrap this, what else, what else do we have, we can, okay, let's, let, there, there's not as many for, let's try, let's just get, let's get this set in stone, this, this one's, this one's definitive, this one's definitely gonna get us eight, no, not that, sorry, I mean, I mean this, four, I, I put eight there because I had eight on the brain, this will definitively get us eight, so let's just have this set in stone, so out, out of what we have left, what can we, what can we add up to get us a total of five, also this music, this music is not very well suited for this puzzle, I must admit, Okay, so eight, six, fourteen. Ooh, wait. Actually, if I do, hold on. Let's try. If we do, if we do six, and then we do nine, and then we do eight, that should. There we go. There we go. That turns them both on. Okay, we did it. All the lights are on and the shutters opened up. Hey, does that mean? Yeah, we got to do it again, man. I thought I was doing so well. I, I, I think we were. We that went. Okay, that was actually legitimately kind of tough. I, I have. I have a sheet of paper to my left, and I just wrote out all the digital words I possibly could to try to figure out what, which two, which which we could combine together to turn on all the stupid lights. Okay, so now 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 we have to do. Now, okay, so we got nine holes, and there's an F up above them. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there's nine holes, so we need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't you just try it? All right. Okay. Just, I do we just insert them in the order that we need them to be in? Let's let's give that a shot. I I, I nope, that's wrong. I doubt this is gonna work. I, I I doubt it's gonna be this easy, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that wasn't gonna work. Okay. Uh You think maybe this F means fifteen? Why would why how 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 would you arrive at that conclusion? Fifteen? Yeah, fifteen and base ten is F and hex, right? Oh 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 it's it's a magic square. Okay, okay, ooh, 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 this, ooh, this is gonna be fun, I love this, okay, okay, I'm excited now, okay, so, uh, in case you don't know what a magic, in case you don't know what a magic square is, so basically, we need to make it such that no matter what we do, because that, that, that actually makes sense now, hold on, yeah, wait, like, I, I get it, I get it, I, I know what it is now, okay, great, okay, so you see how these, these little lines between all the different squares, it's because no matter what direction we go in, every single combination of numbers needs to add up to 15, so like, for instance, if, if I, if, if we wanted to get two here, and so like uh, it's because the, it only needs to add up to fifteen. So what we could do is we could put four here, and then nine here, and then we put uh, math is hard. Hold on, give me a second. We would uh, we put six here, and then seven here, and then eight here, and then five here. Now this doesn't really this this doesn't work. I was just demonstrating like how 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 you would how you're supposed to figure this out is you you figure out what you need to what numbers you need to add together to get the magic square to equal 15 on all sides. So thir uh, so 15 minus 2 equals 13. So we need to find out what numbers add up to uh, add up to 13 to add to 2. So that that's how this works. Uh, all right. So let's 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 just scrap this and start from the ground. That's that that, that that's how that, that's how this mechanically works. Now we just need to figure out a combination of numbers that actually actually I think. We'll, we'll, we'll keep two. Or we, we started with two, so now I, th I think I'm on the. I think I think we'll, we'll keep. I think we just need to rearrange, because 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 those numbers are definitely what we need. Let's just let, let, let's try putting nine and four here this time. No, not not there. Put nine here this time, because I think I think it's, it's just a matter of rearranging like where the numbers actually are, and then based on that we can cuz i cuz we, we all you'll, you'll, you you saw that that we almost had it here like we with last time we we almost had this figured out so now if we put if we just put this here and then put and then put this here the, these are the numbers that all add up to get to equal 13 so now so now what we do is this equals 4 so we put a 1 here cuz now this equals 15 and then 7 plus 5 and then yep that that's 3 and then that should be it right yep there we go yes okay the okay this this room's awesome this room's really really fun this like this is actually like mathematical deductions we're doing here this is actually really cool we did it. The power's on now. Looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the device on the top. Okay. 
Uh, let's do it. A green button, a red button, and a lever. Uh, I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What? What the hell is this? Where did you find this? What is that? Where did you find it? I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like instructions for this thing. According to what it says here, this thing's a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. What is th that? That? The machine over there apparently is called the Pushmaster 5000 Denator. Are you serious? Whatever, so what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000 Denator? You see the coffin over on the top of the crates? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah. Alright, how do you think we're going to get there? Well, well, there were some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up like stairs. If we make a pass to the coffin from there, how would we do that? Line up the crates. Oh, no. Oh, this room. This room is insanely tough. Looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off a battery, so to keep it from using up its energy too fast, it's been programmed so that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed in. Oh, good god. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. New material has been added to the file screen. Please and thank you. I need to know exactly how this thing works before I can start solving it. Okay. Uh, in order to prolong battery life, it's advised that you first simulate your- oh, okay, never mind. I, th I thought it was actually gonna tell me, like, how this works. Okay, so what do we- what do we do? The monitor shows the top top view of the area where we can move the machine. Once I want to send my order to so the Pushmaster 5000, just pull the lever. Okay, great. Can we- this is the reset button that allows me to start over again. Once I want to activate the program, I just pull the lever. And this is the return button that allows me to quit command. Okay. So... Where, where do we, how do we, how, how do we do this? Do we just, there are four crates lined up at, e at equal intervals. Okay, how do we, I can see the machine, the spinning light on top of its head looks kind of cute. Okay, cool, but like, how do we actually tell it what to do? Did I miss something in the files? Hold on, let me read this again. Uh, advise you first simulate your actions before carrying them out. Pull the lever to begin the simulation. Oh, wait, oh, there's, there's a thing, hold on. Uh, okay, you can move in four directions, you cannot move diagonally. If the Pushmaster 5000's move count exceeds the battery life, it will be reset. Cannot lift heavy objects. Reset, quit, uh, re-input command. Okay, so start command, so... <sighs> Good god, um, I don't even... I, I, I'm, I'm confused as to the, actually the controls of how this thing works. So if we pull the lever, let's give this a try. Sure thing. Just keep in mind there's a limit on the battery, alright? The battery dies up to 50 moves, at least that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves, huh? Also keep in mind that the Pushmaster 5000 can't move the heavy metal crates. Okay, got it, okay. Instructions for operation. When a square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 is clicked, the Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. If there's a crate in the way, the Pushmaster 5000 will push it up to a single crate. Move the crates appropriately and efficiently and fill the yellow areas. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we have a map. Okay, now we can figure this out. So, the end game, the, the goal here is to get the squares, or to get, to get these crates lined up like this, and to stack them on top of each other. Okay. So, uh, alright, so, if we, let's, we should, so, let, 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 let's move up here, and then push the crate there, right, because I'm, I'm trying, we're going to try to push these into position along here first, that, that, that should be our, our first goal, is to try to pull that up, okay, so now, can I go up around it, and then push it this way? Yes, I can, okay, so now, now, now that's in place, so, um, let's see, can we, can I, can I stack these on top of each other, let, let, me, let me go, oh wait, I can't, I can't get past here, uh, oh, I, no, I didn't want to back out, I didn't want to back out, yeah, thanks, I, I already know what the instructions are, I didn't want to back out, so what I was trying to do before is trying to move this, can I move, it, it's, okay, move this way, okay, so now we have one, we have, if I, can I push it up any further, no, okay, so, so it's stuck there, so that, so that's where it's supposed to be, because I can't push it, oh, never mind, okay, I can push it there, so, I'm, I, I want to save this one, this, I, this one definitely should go on top, because I'm guessing this one's going to be, actually, no, okay, so, wait, let, let me think about this, so, I, I can get this, okay, so, uh, hmm, if I push this, if I push this up and around, can I, can I get this, any, f no, wait, uh, if I, so, okay, hold on, let, let me push here, if I, if I push this this way, and then go around like this, then I can push it back here, so then, so then I can push this up here into position like this, then move back down here, to push this into, but no, can I, can I reset, or go back, no, that, that's actually, I was lit, I was right, I was like seconds away from figuring it, I don't need hints, I was like seconds away from pulling it off. Wait, did it just give me an extra- I don't need an extra move set, I- 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 okay, just to spite this game, we're gonna solve it. we're gonna solve it in 50 moves, cause I- I had the damn solution, it's just that the game is like, oh, like, cause- I- that- that's actually- I- I wish you could undo, that- that's actually- I'm gonna- that's- I wish you could undo, like, if you could do, um, if- if you could fix your thing to do- like, if- if you make one bad move, you can, um, un undo that bad move, and instead of having to redo the whole thing, that's actually kind of sucky, I really didn't like that, okay. 
So what I was trying to do is push this over here to get it into place. And then I gotta be careful about this. So go back here, then push it down, go around, push it over in this direction, like that. Then go around this way, like so. Push it down, and then go up. Okay. So I, I okay, so that's so that's that's okay, so we still ran out we still ran out of moves, but that that's that's definitely what we have to do. Yeah, thanks, I got it. I get it, I get it, thanks. I know what I have to do. Just let me actually do it. Okay. So that's I, I'm pretty sure that's that should be what we have to do. Is we have to get I, I just I just need to be less sloppy with my movements. So we need to do this very precisely move it one step at a time to get it down to get it down there i i, th I think I, I think my method here is correct like the actual order of boxes here i think is correct i just need to i need to be much more cautious with my actual my moves that's what we need to be more cautious about here making sure we don't we don't make any unnecessary moves that that's that that's what we're hoping for here is to, is to not make any unnecessary moves so let's move this down here okay and then go here, and then push it here. Okay, so we're, we're stuck at 32 right now. So, what... Hmm... So, do we have enough to... If we do 1, 2... Th okay, so 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Okay, that, that should be enough. That uh, I, I didn't count all the way, but this should be enough. In theory... Maybe uh, I, this should be hopefully five six seven eight. There we go under 50 moves take that game stupid I the only reason I backed out is because I was like I messed up once so let me let me retry it so I can set it up because I, I can't undo only one action but then the game's like, oh no, you gotta do the whole thing again. Now, now, I th there, there, I know that you're having trouble solving this puzzle. No, I'm not. I had the damn solution. You just, you just gave me extra moves because you felt like it. But just to spite you, game, I beat you in under 50 moves. So take that. Oh, <sighs> good God, this room is tough. Okay, I think we did it, though. Just be quiet and watch. See, it's moving already. Whew. These are actually some really good brain teasers. These are actually really, really cr creative brain teasers. These, these are. This is the best room so far, except for the fact that you can't undo one move at a time. That's legitimately kind of annoying. But whatever. Uh, the pushmaster 500 just or 5,000 just did what I told it to, and it lined up all the crates. Now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the fence. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Okay, back up. Okay, so go down. No, not not the scaffolding. No, go down. The, no, not the map. Go down the stairs, and then go go over here. There are a bunch of crates lined up in the back. If we go across those, we might be able to reach the coffin. Yeah, so can we go down? Uh, maybe? No, don't don't go up. Go go down. Okay, we're here. So can we... Let's go over go over here. Uh, and then go up the crates. Up there. And we can reach the coffin. Okay. M -m -m Mommy! Uh. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, really? Whatever. Just... Okay. A small key and... A gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... <laughs> You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. Ace is gonna pocket that gun. Ace is absolutely gonna pocket that gun. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. I guarantee you Ace is pocketing that gun. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. And, it, and if it's not Ace, then it's somebody in this room, but through the simple process of elimination, it makes the most sense for Ace to be the one who pockets that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, Maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? Of course not. We'll take that with us. Okay, we have a rusty key. So now... We can go over to the back up the stairs and get out of here. Let's put the key in here and guess something like that did it. Yay! Looks like it's open, Jumpy. I see. This key should open this door. Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's go. All right, let's go through the door. Did we beat the room? Did we do it? Any more? Any more surprises? Cool man. 
That was tough. That room was actually really, really challenging. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. I, I recorded from this point until the end of the game all in one sitting and I forgot to break it up because I was just so invested in what was happening. The, since the video is about, at about 30 minutes right now, and there was a lot of puzzle solving involving there, I figured it's a good place to end the video right now. Also because we're about to head into a very story heavy section where a lot of things start happening at once, so I, I, I want to save that for its own video because trust me when I tell you things are going to get really interesting really soon, so that'll be it for now, thanks for watching, see you next time, catch you all tomorrow for some more 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, goodbye!